Every single month on this YouTube channel, we do a $100 gift card giveaway to speakeepshop.com. Now, how do you enter? Well, it's easy. All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, and just like that, you're entered. At the end of the month, I will choose a random subscriber to win the $100, so good luck to all of you guys. However, if you don't want to wait until the end of the month and you want to buy some keeps right now, then just use my discount code ENCODED for 5% off every speaker shop order. Alright, let's get right here in the video now, shall we? Alright, what's guys, Tim Coded, and today we'll be attempting to do an average 100 on the GAN Keychain Mini 3A3. So I have done my fair share of A100 challenges, from the Dying Shin 3A3 to the Rubik's 3A3 to most recently the LEGO 3A3. And although doing those were all pretty difficult, I do not think it's going to be as difficult as doing it on the Mini 3A3. But you know what, I am up for the challenge, so let's just get right into this now, shall we? Okay, well you guys, I guess it is time for the first solve. Uh, so here's our cube, and let's just do the scramble, and uh, oh my gosh, it feels so tough tiny in my hand. Now I'm sure after a while I will get used to it, uh, somewhat hopefully. Now the thing is, this cube actually turns like pretty well. Like if this was a bigger cube, it would actually turn pretty nicely. Alright, let's just do this first turn now. Okay, so our time was 21.47, uh, I mean, what did I expect? Yeah, once again, this cube turns really well, uh, but it's just, you know, the sheer size of it. Like, my hands just keep on getting in the way of each other, and it's really uncomfortable to solve on. But you know what, I guess it's just time to get used to it, uh, so I'm just gonna be doing some more solves on this cube now, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so we have finished my first average of 12 on this mini 3x3. So as you can see, my average is 19.45, and at first I was going around 21 seconds, uh, but then I was able to uh, speed up a little bit. I got this 13.97, which is really good. Now, like, once again, by all means, this cube turns pretty well. The problem is that it's just tiny. Like, honestly, just turning this cube and, like, doing algorithms on it, it feels like my hands are crapping up. So, yeah, it's super uncomfortable, uh, but I'm just gonna keep on going, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so we are now done with 25 solves, and uh, frankly, not really getting any easier, but that's okay. My current average is 18.99 now, so we are underneath the sub-19 barrier, and as you can see, I still have yet to beat by 13.97, uh, but that being said, I did get a new PB average of 5, so it's 17.72, which I mean, I think is pretty good. Now look, the cube still feels tiny in my hands, that being said though, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more used to it. Like honestly, just turning this thing, it doesn't seem as out of the ordinary as it initially did on my very first solve, but you know, it's still tiny. Now, one annoying thing is that whenever I'm trying to do turns, like, my fingers are always in the way of each other. I always have to, like, move my fingers whenever I try doing algorithms. It's pretty annoying. But that's really about it. I'm just going to keep on going, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh my god, okay, we are done with 50 solves now. So once again, quick breakdown of my time. So I did get a 13.36 solve, really great. And I did get a new PV average of 5 as well, 16.29. Now the weird thing is, is that my PV average of 5 and PV average of 12 is really about the same. You'd expect the PV average of 5 to be a lot faster than the average of 12, but I guess not. Uh, you know, I'm just that consistent. But yeah, you know, I'm starting to realize that 100 solves is a lot. Like, you know, when I'm just doing a normal 3 3 solve, it feels completely fine. However, doing solves on these, you know, just feels way longer than it's supposed to. I'm also realizing that my hands are getting Getting really tired really easily uh, because you know just really cramped up and everything I don't really have that flexibility that movement uh, you know just really cramps like tiny little movements like that uh, and it's really uncomfortable okay only 50 more solves left <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, we are on solve 75 now, and yeah, I said it before and I'll say it again, this is not getting any easier. Because right now my average is 18.10, I haven't really gotten any faster since uh, 50 solves, you know, my PB averages have seen the same. Know, my hands are just really cramping up from doing all these solves, and honestly, I'm getting like increasingly annoyed by like my own fingers getting in the way of turns. Like, okay, if I'm trying to do like a Z perm or something, then frankly, my fingers are always going to get in the way of the turn, which is why it's just super like insufferable to actually do. But yeah, 25 more solves to go, now I really wonder what a normal 3 3 is going to feel like. like for the past hour I've really just been turning on this puzzle I have not even touched a normal thread three uh, so I'm just like wondering like oh is it gonna feel like really big or something I don't know all right but anyways I'm gonna continue solving so see you guys and we are now on solve 95. Now, okay, so I have got to a new PV average of 5, it is now 15.56. So I was actually pretty happy with that, uh, you know, pretty surprising. Anyways, let's just do my final 5 solves now. Okay, 15.83, pretty decent. Yeah, you know, it's always crazy how, like, whenever I do these cubes, you know, the first couple of solves, I'm always getting, like, you know, pretty slow. Uh, but then as I continue doing it, as I continue getting used to it, uh, you know, the times always speed up by a lot. 16.07, uh, not bad. Ooh, PLL skip, 15.37, 22.69. You know, sometimes the solves get a little bit tough, like, you know, it's just really hard to turn sometimes on this cube because your fingers are just, like, so cramped up. Uh, okay, final solve. <sighs> okay, solve 100. Ready, set, go.
finally done. Oh my god. Yeah, the feeling after doing one of the challenges is always so amazing. That being said though, the part that's always more amazing is going back to a normal Rubik's Cube and seeing how that feels. So let's get my main 3x3 three three, and oh my god, it feels so big. So yeah, since I'm using this cube, uh, dude, just holding this cube in my hand, it feels like a cheap big seal. Oh my god, I am not used to turning this. Guys, I cannot describe this feeling right now. Like, it feels so weird because this is a pretty small cube. It's 55.5 millimeters, yet it feels like gigantic in my hands. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh my god, it actually feels like a cheap big sale. It feels really, really awkward. How does that even work? This is like a small cube, okay? Like, how does it suddenly feel gigantic in my hands? I don't think it's supposed to work like that. Yeah, most of the times, after doing an average of 100 on a bad cube, once I go to my main 3 3 it feels amazing. This time, however, I cannot say that. It just feels weird. I do not like this at all. Uh, you know, it's definitely interesting. Uh, but yeah, I wonder when I'm actually going to go back to normal. Wait, okay, let me see how the Sealer 6 feels. It feels like I'm holding a 7x7. Oh my god. Yep, I'm going to put that away for now. Once again, I cannot describe this feeling. You guys definitely need to try this for yourselves and, like, see what it's like after you go back to your normal cube because it is... I can't describe it, honestly. Alright, well, anyways, that's the video. That is me doing 100 solves on the GAN Mini 3 3 Now, if you're wondering what my final PB average of 100 was, it was a 17.98. Uh, so, hey, you know, it was a lot better than when I first started. Alright, well, anyways, this was a really fun video to make, and I hope you guys enjoyed. That's all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.